Welcome. I thought perhaps today we'd take a look at the long US dollar Japanese yen trade. As you can see, the sentiment on the IG platform as at uh, around about 20 past nine on Tuesday morning. Of course, we got to the US markets out today for the uh, July 4th holiday, so volumes are a little bit thin. But we're 58% long, which means that 58% clients with a position on dollar yen are at the moment long on this trade. Let's take a look at the long trade on dollar yen. First of all, I want to go for the weekly chart to show where we are. Here we've got the MACD at the bottom and overlaid a Bollinger Band here. Now, so long as we're trading inside the Bollinger Band, the trade looks uh, quite happy at these levels. The weekly has just in the this week appeared above this uh, blue line, which is the 100 week moving average, which for a trade is significant. It now means that this will be the support level uh, on the weekly chart. We've still got room in the Bollinger Band on the upper side to continue this rise. But if we look at the a daily chart, it forms a little bit of a different picture. I've overlaid the Bollinger Band on here. I'll get rid of this in just a minute. But the Bollinger Band, we've got to trade just inside this. So we do have more potential upside to go for the dollar yen trade. I'll take the uh, Bollinger off uh, just to make it a little bit easier so we can uh, see more of what's happening uh, with this trade that we've got on this daily chart. Now, there's some interesting levels coming through here. We've got support line drawn here from the 18th of April, the low seen then, which was the 108.32 level. Uh, we've touched that a couple of times. So this is now a good trend line in terms of lower end support. And we've got some resistance, which is just what we're touching at uh, at the moment. Yesterday, the dollar yen trade rose uh, and touched this uh, upside resistance, which started at the high point here on the 10th of March. We saw a touch on a couple of days on the round about the 10th of May yesterday touching that again. So this is now becoming uh, some interesting resistance. And today you can see this hammer candle, the candle we've got all the activity at the top here. Uh, we have tried to, the bears have tried to take this down and they uh, pulled out at the 200 day moving average and the uh, bulls have won back again. But the bulls are failing to take this above this upside uh, resistance. Now, if we get upside trade above this and we get a daily close above this level, we are then uh, broken this, uh, this line here. And the next level of uh, resistance will then be this point here, which will be the 114.37. Breaking that, you're then up to the 115 level for the dollar yen. Now, if you do go long on this trade, uh, you'll be wanting to put a stop just below this level of support down here at uh, 111.78. Just below would coincide with these uh, two moving averages down here, uh, the uh, 50 and the 100 day moving average. That would be about the point at which you uh, put your stop if you do go long this trade. So you've got to break above where we are at the moment uh, on this uh, uh, descending uh, resistance line, you get a trade and a close above that. You can then see 114.37 as the profit to be taken for dollar yen. The one thing I would say on to this trade is that there is no meaningful Japanese economic data this week. And when the US markets come back in on Wednesday, uh, we lead up to Thursday's release of the private payroll numbers out at 1.30 UK time. That could be a disturbing influence on the dollar yen trade this week, as indeed any dollar trade. And also, of course, Friday's non-farm payrolls, another potential influencing trade uh, on any US dollar trade uh, for this week.